Metrex Trophy for the world's strongest man to be fought for here at the Victoria Falls in Zambia on the banks of the Zambezi, where a million crocodiles lie in wait for unsuspecting isolated canoeists. And then, in the blink of an eye, a flick of the tail and a gnashing of the teeth, they're gone. And so are the canoeists. Never smile at a crocodile. But I'm assured these chaps are quite friendly, which is more than can be said for some of the prehistoric monsters around here. In every heat, there are six competitors. They take part in six events, but only the top two will make it through to the final. And already there, Juha Rassanen, Wout Zilstra, Svent Carlsen, Hugo Gerard, Magnus Samuelsson, and Martin Muir. Today, there'll be two more from heat four. and barely a crocodile snap from the Victoria Falls, you find a car park, and that's where we get things underway. Carry and drag, nothing too complex about this first event. Carry that 200 kilogram weight halfway down the course, put it down, and then drag this 300 kilogram anchor and chain all the way to the other end of the course. Now that's a combined weight of more than 1,100 pounds. <laughs> I used to watch uh, World's Strongest Man as a kid at Christmas and uh, to be part of it is great. I think Yanni's going to win this heat and it's just going to be a battle for sec second place. This particular event is a bit of a nightmare for me. I've got uh, short legs so carrying the weight is hard and also when I pick the chain up because I'm so short there's far more of the chain on the floor, dragging on the floor the but I put my big boots on and you know you never know. Paul Dickinson describes the action. A few last minute adjustments for the Austrian powerlifting champion, Ralph Baer. Enjoying the atmosphere here. Then the heaviest man in this heat, Levi Vioga of New Zealand, a massive 165 kilos. Andrew Reigns almost dwarfed by Vioga, former powerlifting and bodybuilding champion from Barnsley. Then the giant German, Heinz Olesch, a veteran of many, many strongman competitions. Brian Schoonveld of the United States from Indiana, another powerlifter, a fantastic all-round sportsman, as is Yanni Wirtanen. Not just any old competitor either, because Yanni Wirtanen is the reigning world's strongest man. Away we go. This is the easy bit, if you can believe that. 200 kilograms on the far side. Ralph Baer of Austria is going well, but this is where it begins to get hard. 300 kilograms, the combined weight of the change and anchor. Bear is absolutely flying. This is totally against the odds. Yanni Wirten was supposed to win this one. There he is, the man who lifted the title last year, but the Austrian is just ahead. Everybody's closing in, including Andrew Reigns of Great Britain, but the man from Barnsley's gone down. Now, who's going to win it? Ralph Bear wins it by the skin of his teeth. Virton in second place. Good result by Levi Vioga in third. Now, what has Andrew Reigns done? He's still got a way to go. This is not over by any stretch of the imagination. Vioga shouting at Stumpy. 
Andrew Rains finishes, we hope, in fourth place. He's just finished. Fourth place for Andrew Rains, but what a result for Ralph Bear. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That, oh, okay? Yes. The leg are pumping. How, how hard was that? Very hard. It was the hardest thing I've ever done before. It was very hard. I'm, I'm very happy. You won? <laughs> yes. You beat the world's strongest man? Yes. Second. We were surprised. Me too. Well, this is very good, this event. But this is first event. Let's see what happens next event. Tough here, yeah, it's a real tough group. But like I got last year's World's Strongest Man in my group. Ralph's really strong. But I'll just give it my best, yeah. Kiwi power. Well, victory perhaps surprisingly for Ralph Baer of Austria. The World's Strongest Man last year, Jani Vietnam, still looking pretty strong. It's well over 100 metres beneath us, the mighty Zambezi, but we've got some mighty men here. This is Heinz Olesch, a veteran of many, many years, world's strongest man, including a final as well. He's going to set the standard. It's going to be a good one as well, though. 16 tonnes of train, it's beginning to motor now. Olesch going well. He only scored one point in the first event. Surely this is going to be better. It's fast. Very fast indeed. 25.8. The second fastest we've seen in this year's competition by any of the competitors. Fabulous. Congratulations. That was a fantastic time. Oh, thank you. I needed it. Oh. But I'm the first one, so you don't know what the other's going to do. So I will see. But. I hope to do well in this event because of yesterday and we'll see how it's going. Well, it went better than it did for Brian Schoenfeldt, 28 seconds dead for the American. And old Stumpy, Andrew Raines, 29.2 for the man from Barnsley. Well, here's the heaviest man in this heat, Levi Viagra of New Zealand, 165 kilograms he weighs. That's an enormous Ready. amount of weight, Ready. but he's a very mobile man. The time to beat. Watch the clock in the top left-hand corner. 25.8 seconds by Heinz Olesch. He's got it moving. We saw him sprinting, and I mean sprinting, around the compound the other day, throwing a rugby ball around. He's pretty nifty and obviously very strong, massively strong. But what a time set by Heinz Olesch. It's clicking away, 25, 26, he's not going to win it, he's just outside, 27 seconds. Good result once again for Levi Vioga, but two very good men to come. I saw your face there, you almost seem to be enjoying it, were you? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's good fun. <laughs> did you have a chance to look at the view while you were doing yeah, it? Did, yeah, I saw the goal. Not too bad. Did that I'm going to bungee, bungee later. Janne Vertonen, only second place for the defending champion in the first event. Ready. An athlete, every inch of his six foot five frame, leans back. Perhaps he started leaning back a bit too soon there. It's not a fast start, but here we go. Plenty of chalk on the hands to add extra grip and that train. It's not exactly hurtling over the bridge, but it's not bad. 25.8, second place is 27 seconds, it's going to be close, the white markers on the rails, a couple of inches to go, good time, 26.1 is in second place, Germany still lead, one man to go and that's Ralph Baer. Well a strong man I think is a little bit like this, you've got to be a bit crazy to do it, fantastic stuff on this bridge. I think I'd rather pull a train though, and there's only one guy left now. Ralph Bear of Austria, Paul, big speed. surprise winner of the first event. Big Paul. Big Paul. He's not a massive man by any stretch of the imagination. Only 20 stones. Fine competitor, I don't think he's got the start. He really struggled over the first five balls, but now he's going better. Much, much better. 
Big Paul with the arms. Big Paul with the legs. He's got to have a massively strong back as well. It's going to be close once again. Whoa, 26.9. Just outside Levi Vioga's time. It's victory for Olesh. But Yanni Veltinen finishes in second again. So Austria took the first event. Germany take the second. But Veltinen second in two consecutive events. And what that means is he's joint leader after two with Ralph Baer. What about the Kiwi, though? He needs a bit more bite to his performance. No, they've all been eating people, these ones. How much does this weigh? Probably about 350 kgs. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you keeping, huh? Caught over 200. Now, normally they shoot them when they're eating people, but we, we managed to catch them. Wow. Imagine what it would do to you. Yeah. And they get free food, free girls. I mean, what else could you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one in here. There was a man inside it when we caught it. When oh, they get to this man. size, they can't catch fish. <laughs> Too slow. So they've got to eat, you know, this dogs, goats, people, whatever. People are easy. <laughs> this big chap, Monguni, he's been taking people and cows for years. <laughs> can I sense fear? Uh, I'm sure like you can. Are you not scared, eh? No, no. <laughs> Only when he looks me in the eye. <laughs> this is the Africa Stone, 175 kilograms, 385 pounds, to be carried as far as possible down this course until it quite literally squeezes the life out of you. Andrew Stumpy Reigns up against Brian Schoonvel of the United States will emphasize once again, it's not a race. You just do it until every last drop of strength has been squeezed out of you. Andrew needs a good result here. These two guys on four points Take each equal in last place. Lift. If Andrew's got any hope of making it through to the final, he's got to make his move here. Literally got to move as far as possible. Schoonvel going well, step for step with Andrew Rains. Six meters, four meters. Only five foot four six meters. tall, but into that body, he manages to squeeze 20 stones of solid muscle. Now then, the grip of Andrew Rains is interesting. He seems to be hanging on to a loop of something. That's going to help his grip, but I'm not sure it's allowed. I wonder what Douglas Edmonds, the referee, will make of that. Anyway, it goes on. He's obviously thought this one out. And it's neck and neck, but it's not now. Brian Schoonveld has come to a halt. That was very sudden. Reigns continues, and this is brilliant. Almost three lengths. And that is superb. It's a brilliant performance by Reigns. Schoonveld is finished. 56 metres. What about this from Andrew Reigns? 77.7 metres. Oh, great performance. And I think one which is going to be very, very tough to beat. We've got some great guys to come, but that was an inspired performance by Andrew. What was your target there? Uh, in my head, I wanted to get four. But a little bit out of my uh, league, that. But I needed some points. Um, my train pull wasn't a bad time, but it put me in last position. So if I'm going to have any chance of getting to the final, I need to do really well from now. He needed the points and he's going to get some because Heinz Olesch could only manage 43.4 metres. And he's well clear of Levi Vioga as well. 66.43 for the man from New Zealand. Our last two competitors, Ralph Baer, can't wait to get on the platform. He really is going well in this competition, but so is Jani Veltinen. They're tied together on 10 points each at the top of the leaderboard. Brilliant for us though, isn't it? 77.7 metres by Andrew Rains. That leads at the moment. <whistles> Vertinen perfectly built for this event. Long arms wrapped around that giant stone and look at the way he's moving. Yuka Ahala once again having to burst out into a sprint but Bear's gone down. And I think he might be hurt as well. Oh, he's absolutely...
absolutely flat out. The doctor is racing over to the Austrian. Meanwhile, Valtanen carries on at some pace as well. A little touch on the line, that's all that's required. Turning round, no problem at all. He can see way over the top of the stone. I can't believe he's smiling, that's ridiculous. He's enjoying this. He knows he's scored big points again. Shall I go again? Yeah, all right. Yanni Vertonen is putting on a great performance here. He's not bothered about winning it. He scored heavily once again, and that's all that matters. If you had to go as far as you can go, how far could you go with that, do you think? I didn't saw 125 meters. So, 125 meters is yeah, possible. Yeah. So you are just saving your energy? Yeah, of course. I go to the final. A supremely confident Vietnam, a great result for Andrew Reigns, a desperate one for Ralph Baer. And what that means is while last year's world's strongest man, bit by bit, is working his way towards the final again, the second qualifying place is anybody's guess. Well, this group is wide open now as we come to the deadlift hold, a fairly straightforward weightlifting, powerlifting, if you will, competition that starts at a mere 280 kilograms, that's more than 600 pounds, and works its way up to who knows where. Well, 280 kilos became 300, became 320, became 330. That's when Olesh decided he couldn't go on. It also proved too much for Levi Vioga. And Brian Schoenfeld couldn't manage it at that mark either. Go left, Brian Schoenfeld. Next stop, 340 kilograms. No thank you very much, said Bear. Jani Vietnam then against Andrew Reigns to win this particular event. The world's strongest man against Barnsley's strongest man. No contest. Victory for Reigns again, two on the trot, and that meant he was now a serious contender for qualification. Vietnam, four second places on the run, he's all but there. But Reigns, Bear, maybe Levi, still in contention. I've been excited since I got here, but um, um, I might have a sleepless night tonight. And so we come to the boulder holder, 300 kilograms of rock, 660 pounds, to be picked up and moved as far as possible around this circle. Levi Vioga, 13 points he's got at the moment. So an outside chance of qualification with just two events to go. Every time they go round this circle, 27 meters. Away we go, it says Douglas Edmonds, the referee and one of the instigators of World's Strongest Man competition all over the world. Vioga, a massive man, fresh from his brush with one of the crocodiles who is almost bigger than him. Seems hard to believe, but Vioga, he's puffing and blowing a bit at the moment and finished at only 35 metres and that is a poor score. That's just about the end for Levi. Bit better for Heinz Olesch, 49.2 metres. Much better for Brian Schoenfeld, 56.5. Now this is the man who is a danger to Andrew Reigns. Ralph Baer, of course, he won the first event, the carry and drag. Take He's a position. single point behind Andrew Reigns at the moment. Lift. Jani Virtanen, defending champion. And he goes last here. <laughs> Ralph Bear recovered now from that uh, mishap with the Africa Stone. He really came down with a bit of a thump and he's done the same again. Whoa! No injury, we hope, although one of his legs has buckled underneath him. I hate to say it, but this is good news for Andrew Reigns.
I don't know what, what happened. So 13. I get an ultra blackout. Well, I wonder what's going through Andrew Rain's mind. No British men through to the final yet. Take your position. This could be his moment to make sure. There's still one event to go, and it's a big one for Andrew Rain. And that is the Atlas Stones. But really, if he can score big here, we might see a Brit in the final. Ralph Bear, only 13.1 metres. He's gone past that already. The leader at the moment is Brian Schoonveld, 56.5. Good performance by the American, but he's not going to figure in the final points tally for a place in the final. So Andrew Rain's going well. He's developed a real cult following here in Zambia. Oh, he's down, 49.7. This most popular of strongmen. Big score, we hope. Yanni Vertonen has a very simple motto when it comes to strongman competition. He wants to be the best. Well, he's the best at the moment in this heat, Mr. Consistency. Four times he's finished in second place. The start position, so, so important. He's got his hands locked together. Away we go. 56.5 metres to beat by Brian Schoonveld. And that would give Yanni Velten in his first victory this year. He's beginning to stretch away from the rest in terms of points. That's one and a half times round. He's just got to go beyond twice round to win it. He's just having a little look. Absolute precision. Oh, to the inch. And down it goes. 58.1. A couple of metres ahead of Brian Schoonveld. And that is victory number one. With almost contemptuous ease, Jani Vietnam wins the stone circle ahead of Schoenfeld and Andrew Rains. But the most significant factor there was Ralph Baer's dismal performance, which means he is now four points behind Andrew Rains going into the last event. Well, an immense effort by Heinz Olesch, putting all five stones on the wall, meant that when Ralph Baer failed to put five on the wall. That was the end of his challenge for a place in the final. So when Andrew Rains walked out to lift his Atlas stones, it was effectively little more than a lap of honor. What a moment for Andrew Rains. Look at the difference in stature between the two guys. They weigh about the same, about 20 odd stones, but there's about a foot between their height and Andrew Rains was always gonna have a problem here. That big wall is at six feet, no problem for the Finn. And Andrew is going to struggle, not his favourite event. The weight is not a problem, believe me. It'll feel almost like a feather to these guys, but the height is a problem. And Vertanen is literally sprinting away with this. Gives the big one a little pat on the head, says thank you very much. Oh, great performance by the Finn in defence of his title. Andrew continues. On stone number three, it doesn't matter to Jan de Vertinen, and in actual fact, it doesn't matter to Andrew Rains, but this, in fact, would be good practice for the final. Good rehearsal. Look at this physique. A former bodybuilding champion, and you know why. Absolutely fantastic muscularity. If only he was about six or seven inches taller, this would be so much easier. Almost just pressed it out with his arms there. The crowd still screaming for him. That is it, he's run out of time. He gets the single point he knew he would get by starting this last event. Andrew Rains is through to the final with the defending champion. After this year at Britain's Strongest Man and everything went wrong, everything went pear-shaped, uh, I shouldn't even have been here. I've only come as a... Uh, a reserve and somebody's pulled out and here I am at final so it's got to be good. When you, when you came here could you when you looked at the group and everything else did you think you had a real chance of making it through? Um, you've got to think you've got a chance otherwise why, why turn up? Well Andrew Rains may have come last in the Atlas Stones but he knew that basically all he had to do was just turn up but what it meant was there'd be at least one Briton in the final of this year's World's Strongest Man competition.
Of the eight finalists already confirmed for the Metrex Trophy, seven nations represented. Two are from Finland.